It's a bit of a rainy, dreary day here in Richmond, Virginia. So we decided to check out the Poe Museum here. Been here once many moons ago. Let's see what's changed. This is actually really amazing. The Poe Museum is in the oldest building still standing in Richmond, Virginia. And it looks beautiful. The last time I was here, which again was many, many moons ago, this was the entrance, but now they have a new entrance. And it's over here in between the two buildings. And it's actually looking very nice. The Edgar Allan Poe Museum here in Richmond, Virginia is a self-guided tour and it helps that they give you this nice little laminated map so you don't get lost. Basically it's $8 for an adult ticket and you can spend as much time as you want here on the grounds looking at things. It's well worth it. This place is beautiful. It's like set up like a garden. Old style houses up here in Richmond, Virginia. Jessica, you're looking right at home, mind you. Just check that out. They have on display Poe's silk waistcoat and matching socks. And over here in the corner, they have a really nice display and a picture of the stone where Poe was originally buried in Baltimore. And this is actually really neat. You can leave a note for Poe at the base of the stone. Behind a glass case, they have Poe's trunk and his walking stick. There's a little raven down here telling us is if you take a closer look at Poe's walking stick, you will find his name engraved on the silver tip, which is down here on the bottom. They can't see it with the camera. Actually, it's up here at the handle, right on the end there. Still kind of hard to see with the camera, but it's there. Just notice this, there's a plaque that says Fragment of Poe's Coffin which is framed right there. It's pretty amazing. It says 26 years after the burial in an, in an unmarked grave, Poe's remains were relocated across the cemetery to a more prestigious location. During the move, Poe's coffin fell apart, revealing a final glimpse of the author. The very last sentence, the teeth looked pearly white and were in excellent preservation. Just across the room, they have a lock of Poe's hair, which is right there in the center of the screen. It's crazy. Poe's last poem was Annabelle Lee, and there's a copy of it right there, 1849. First editions of Poe's first collection of tales. And they even have a first edition of The Pit and the Pendulum, 1842. It's kind of a unique thing to have, Poe's boot hooks. And those are the candelabras under which Poe wrote the bells. There's a display case here devoted to the raven and other things, but over here on the right hand side, there's a first edition of the raven, the year 1845. I really like how they have everything on display in each of these houses. It's very simple, very clean, this is set up like Poe's childhood. This right here is Poe's boyhood bed. There's a information plaque right there. It's a small thing, look at this. Here's a picture of Poe's first fiance, Elmira Royster Shelton, I guess that's how you say it. And over here they have a copy of one of Poe's drawings of her. It's a good drawing, but you know what? It doesn't look anything like her. Hmm. Here's a very rare item. Here is a painting of Poe with a little smile on his face and he doesn't have 
the mustache that we are accustomed to seeing when we think of Edgar Allan Poe. Over here in the corner they have an information plaque talking about the beautiful death which is consumption, tuberculosis, which claimed Poe's mother, foster mother, brother, wife, and friends. And right above it, they have a handkerchief case painted by Poe's sister. And it says that a lot of times with the handkerchiefs when they were made, they had red roses painted on them to kind of camouflage the blood stains from people coughing from consumption. It's crazy. It's a rather quick museum. The second building we went to opens up to this really, really nice garden. A little water fountain. A little stone. I'm not entirely sure what you call that, but right about the center, as I can see it, there's another bust of Poe. This is actually quite beautiful. Very nice museum to Poe. What do you think, Jessica? What do you think of this place? It's very serene here. Um, you know that feeling you get when you just want to curl up in the dark with a candle and maybe some velvet pillows, kind of like romantic? That's what it feels like here. I'd love to see this place at night, but even during the day, um, it's, it's just lovely. And there's a lot of things I didn't expect to see here at all. Um, some really cool memorabilia and information that I never knew. So learn a little bit more about Poe every day. You are looking rather regal, my friend. This is Pluto, right? Pluto. And over there, laying down, that's Edgar. And that's pretty much about it. It's a rather small museum, well worth it, especially if you're a fan of Edgar Allan Poe and you're stopping in Richmond. I want to get a little history in, but there's one more thing left to see, and that's the gift shop. And to us, it's one of the most important things. They have quite a few different t-shirts to choose from with different designs on it. They have a shirt here that says Unhappy Hour 2019, which is an event that they hold once a month in the courtyard, which is happy hour, but it's unhappy hour. We have a miserably good time. But I think this shirt here is probably the best design. It just says Poe Museum, Richmond, Virginia, interpreting the life and influence of Edgar Allan Poe for the education and enjoyment of a global audience. If you collect bobbleheads, you can get your very own Edgar Allan Poe bobblehead and colored cups, as well as a beer koozie. Oh, and check this out over here by the front door. There is a coffin shelf filled with candles, notepads, books, and even coffee. Is that a raven finger puppet? Yeah. Puppet and fridge magnet. Hey! Jessica, you really love the tote bags. Maybe you should get this one that has Poe Museum on it. Poe and the Raven. There are a few different DVDs that you can also buy here. Poe related. And for those of you who are like me, who has a penchant for magnets, they have about three different ones that you can choose from here. One of the cups says, I had a miserable time at the Poe Museum's unhappy hour. Yep, that screams us. It's a little hard to see, but you can get a raven hand puppet, a Poe doll, or a little tombstone knickknack that says Nevermore on it. Now we can officially knock off the Poe Museum from our bucket list. We've seen his grave, we've seen his birthplace, and now the Poe Museum in Richmond, Virginia, and we bought some things. What did you think of this place, Jessica? You're hiding behind what you bought. What'd you get? Just some small things. Some stickers and a cup. Stickers and a cup? No magnets? We don't have room. No, we don't require that much. Usually we get something very, very small. That's us. Wherever I come, bad luck. Just come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.